Stern? No. Yes. You know, the number one movie in America is also the best reviewed movie in America. Did you know that? You're not shy about this stuff, are no. you? I am very, I'm so proud of my movie yeah. and the reviews that we've gotten that I feel obligated to go on every single talk show in America and talk about it. You got, you got all the critics in your corner, which is nice. It really is unusual. The first time in my career, I have all the critics in my corner. You well, don't know what that's like. It shakes you up a little bit when you're Howard Stern and suddenly yeah. the critics are in your corner. You, you know, feel like you're doing something wrong. Yeah, there's might, maybe there's something wrong. In fact, I, I'm sure that, I know my radio show never receives praise, so I'm sure I'm doing that wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> According to the critics, I'm good at movies and books, but not the radio show. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, so here I sit promoting this movie across the country, and you got this number one movie, and, and the movie's doing quite well. And we keep, uh, every, every night, we keep getting more and more money at the box office, and I believe this is the kind of movie that's going to be around a while. I believe people are going to get well, you know what out. sold it for me was I went with my girlfriend, and you know this. I took my girlfriend with me, and I look over halfway through the movie, and she's crying. Right. Okay? Because she's with me. <laughs> uh, how sad. Yeah. No, but she really was. She, she, there are two points in the movie where there's some tender stuff between you and your wife. I mean, I had she always, cried. I'd always prayed that we'd make a funny movie. I just wanted to make a funny movie. I, I felt like the last couple of years, comedies have come out, Coneheads, all that stuff. It just hasn't been all that funny, and people are pretty disappointed <laughs> in it. You didn't like Coneheads. Uh, I'm the only guy, I guess. I didn't quite get it. But even I was watching Michael on the airplane. You know, uh -huh. I was coming back from Los Angeles and John Travolta's movie. It really was, it, it had no laughs whatsoever. It was billed as a comedy. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out what was going on because I said something is wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, here you have a movie that's getting a lot of laughs. And, it surprised the, the hell out of me that women were going and crying during it, yeah. and uh, they just felt touched by it. Right. And when you have this face, it's very hard to touch people. So uh, <laughs> suddenly they were touched. Now, we got a uh, clip from the movie. Do you want to set this up for us? Well, first of all, it was weird coming back to this building. This is the NBC building. Every time I step foot in this building, I, I get nauseous. Mm -hmm. I truly do. <laughs> This was probably, this building was responsible for some of the most exciting moments in my career, but yes. also probably some of the most horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, the building was filled with horrible people when I worked here. I don't know about now, I don't know how it is for it's you. It's completely different now, Howard. Oh, yeah? Completely different. <laughs> yeah. Completely different, yeah. Well, they got your program. <laughs> So when I walk in, I do get this, this feeling of nausea, as I did every day. And I'm not exaggerating. I used to actually, it was like going to school and being nauseous. So I had a program director here who was particularly vicious toward me. And I, I nicknamed him Pig Vomit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, because he looked like a pig and made you want to vomit. So I, you know, I, this guy tortured me. Yeah. He wanted to see me get fired. He didn't like my brand of radio. And he had promised NBC that he would tame me. Mm -hmm. So the first day I show up at NBC, this is a true scene. This is exactly how he handled me. He just demoralized Let's me. take a look. And the first thing you've got to do is say the call letters properly. Okay? Now, I'm going to teach you how to sing. All right? And, you know, I hope you can get them. Because, see, you don't have a real good voice like I miss uh, Captain Frank and nothing. So we're going to have to practice it. Well, you mean practicing here now? You're not going to get bashful on me now, are you, Howard? <laughs> okay, you ready? The way it's said properly is... W-N-B-C. <laughs> this is key. Come on. W-N-B-C. <laughs> no, gotta be more like this. <clears throat> Listen up. W-N-B-C. You hear that kind of lift? The N-B-C. W-N-B-C. <laughs> W-N-B-C. Why do you W-N-B-C. <laughs> Still in the business. He worked in a small market radio, a medium right. market radio. But the humiliation after you've, you know, you've accomplished something, after yeah. I crafted, crafted some of the best penis jokes in the industry <laughs> in Washington, D.C., and I finally get to New York, which was my dream. It really was my dream to be here at NBC. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have some guy suddenly teaching you how to say the call letters, which is probably the least important yeah. of all the uh, aspects of my career. Not that essential, I would Not think. Not that essential. Not important. So uh, there he is, pig vomit. All right, well, the, the movie, uh, word of mouth is spreading. The, the reviews are great. The movie's doing great. I wanted to bring up something before we ran out of time here tonight. Uh, another odd show business experience of mine. I came on your radio show. Well, when uh, you, yeah, when you came on the show, we had, we had a weird experience. Actually. We had a, well, I mean, it was, a, a, and I've always cherished it in an odd way. I think I won an award for it. Yes, you did. But uh, you had me on the program, and uh, you tortured me with the Jackie puppet. Yes. <laughs> we have uh, a... Which is like, it's... 
This was like it was, it was like being arrested and thrown into a Bolivian prison or something. Well, you know? Conan, it was, just... Conan, Conan, it was it was a special day. Conan was coming <laughs> yeah. on, of course, and we do have this thing, the Jackie puppet. And yes. The Jackie puppet is a puppet that just talks like this yes. and humiliates people. Humiliates people. Right. So yes. beforehand, before you came in, we decided we were going to have the, the Jackie puppet. And I said to this guy Billy, who was controlling the Jackie puppet, I said to him, "Look, no matter what I say, no matter what I do." Keep torturing Conan. <laughs> <laughs> and this way you get to be the good guy. Right. And I'm going to keep saying, listen, don't do it anymore <laughs> because I don't want Conan to think I'm being a real bastard right, here. Right, right. I want this Jackie puppet to be the bad guy. Yeah. And the Jackie puppet is going to say everything to Conan. You know, at the time you were just starting out. We were in sorry the show. things were rough. It and didn't the look puppet like... was really rough on you. The yes. puppet was going to be brutal. I say, say every brutal thing that I can't <laughs> say to Conan. And the puppet would be like, hey, your show really blows. You're right. not going to last another week. Warren Littlefield's going to fire you. Yeah, right. You know, right. it was just really vicious stuff. All this stuff that was going to hurt. Things I was hearing on the street. You right. Know? <laughs> but you don't want to hear so it I during really an interview. You don't yeah. want to hear it during an interview. Right, right. So, okay, you come in, we start doing it. And the puppet is as vicious as ever. <laughs> so vicious, you wouldn't believe it. Right. And I'm starting to feel bad for Conan. <laughs> even, uh, you know, even the even incubus. You. Even, even the you. incubus is starting to feel bad for Conan. <laughs> so I, uh, we're in the middle of the interview. I go, yeah. Billy, don't do it anymore to Conan. Stop. Stop. Jackie Puppet, stop. Now, uh -huh. of course, there was no way of... He said, I had told him, just keep going. So the <laughs> more I kept telling him stop, the more he kept picking I, And I went in there. I think I went in there for, like, a 10-minute interview. It was two hours or something insane. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a clip, and I, let's share with America. Share. This yes. just the quick Jackie clip. Puppet. I haven't even seen it, but just let's go back to that wonderful time. Let's Me and the Jackie it. Pup with yeah. Howard. I don't see any big future for a guy who fights with a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I think this is good TV. Good radio and good TV. Oh, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. <laughs> now, yeah, but it went on for two hours. It went on for two hours, and I still... There are times at night where I'm still, like, in, asleep. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. No Jackie puppet. I think I see it scuttle down the hall, you know? <laughs> Well, you know how much fun that was, and that's what the movie's about, having fun, <laughs> just like that. All right, well, uh, man, Private Parts is at theaters near you, and the Private Parts uh, soundtrack, and we wanted to have you on for a long time. Thanks so much for coming by. Yeah, it's great to you, be can here. Can you stick around for a little bit? Well, it's a weird dilemma I have, you know. Uh, your next guest is promoting Jungle to the Jungle, which I'm competing with at the box office. And we thought this could be interesting if you stuck around. Now, you think I can fight her, or what? I mean, is that going to be it? It's good television. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Howard Stern, thank you very right, much. Thanks. Let's take a break. Uh, Lolita Davidovich, Pretty Johnson are coming up. Stick around.